What's up ladies and gents, Noli here. First and foremost, happy birthday payday to seven years since the game first graced our consoles and Steam libraries, and basically seven years since this channel got going. Thank you in particular those of you who've been around for a large portion of it, but also there's been some amazing support on the channel recently, so welcome to all you new subscribers. Here's to another seven years. Today, in celebration of this momentous occasion, Overkill has come out with a completely free update to Payday 2 on PC, containing some great cosmetic content as well as quality of life improvements I'll get onto in just a second. I first of all want to say that I'm really happy to see that this is a free update. Payday birthday celebrations have always been about celebrating the community inclusively, and even after their financial woes, it's amazing to see Overkill continuing this tradition. It's a real shame this isn't met with a console release, but there is some content here I could see making its way over there eventually, so keep your eyes peeled. Now for update 199.6, really getting up there in the decimals, let's start off with the cosmetics. First up we have a brand new suit which I love. It follows a classy gold and black diamond motif that runs throughout the designs of all the new cosmetics. The Prime is a suit with a backstory, going all the way back to the old New York days when Hoxton made a quick smash in disguise to evade police pursuers. On this one, Overkill say, A celebration is a good occasion to dress in style, and you should wear this suit with pride, as each and every one of you heisters deserves to take a share of the credit for these seven years. Next up, we have a new pair of lucky gloves to rock. As stated by Overkill, seven is a lucky number, and wearing these gloves, we're sure you'll lay your hands on plenty of cash, gold, diamonds, and other valuables. These gloves follow the same colour scheme, but are checkered instead. I think for handwear, they're a bit much, as their description notes they're Jimmy's favourites, for being unsettling rather than leaving any particular impression. At least Overkill knew the gloves were a little more charming, shall I say, rather than classy, so even though I don't love the gloves and they're a bit gaudy for my style, thanks to the previous update I can still rock the brilliant looking suit, but go for some more understated gloves to complete the look. Finally, for the Celebration Cosmetics, we have the Pleiades Weapon Skin, slotting in perfectly with the suit. This is definitely the best looking instant unlock weapon pattern if you ask me. I think I'll be rocking this for weeks to come, even as an owner of the weapon colour packs. Next up, a brand new song has been added. This song is called Cake Wish. It's an interesting little remix of the traditional Happy Birthday tune, which has been transformed beyond recognition to be a Payday styled song. I'll have it running through parts of this video to give you a little taster. We also have some new weapon colours available as rewards for completing holdouts or crime sprees. Adding a little bit more life to these game modes just in time for me to bring you a crime spree focused build. Another new feature goes back to a tweet I made this morning, wishing Payday 2 a happy birthday and reminiscing about my old Mask of the Day series, which is almost 7 years old itself. Well, as if by magic, Overkill have improved the mask customization UI and features after all these years and I couldn't be happier. Not only can we scroll through considerably more customization options at once, menuing is simpler and most importantly, we can choose color 1 and color 2 independently. This opens up a whole new world of possible combinations and I know there have been a lot of new patterns and materials added to the game since I last made a mask video. So does this mean a return of a mask series in the future? We'll have to see. Just know I think this is a huge improvement, but would love to see the mask also be centralised on the screen when previewing your design. If Overkill adds that, I think I can promise a mask or two in the not too distant future. The final sizeable section of this update relates to achievements. As you all know, Payday 2 is full of them, and a particularly tricky subset is the 4 player enforced mask ones. These don't take a lot of skill, but do require some Payday playing friends or public lobby coordination. Not a luxury we all have access to. Well, Overkill have finally answered our pleas and these achievements can be completed with your bots now. Make sure that you equip your bots with one of each of the masks and that you're wearing the fourth yourself and you should have no problems picking up the 10 4 player mask achievements solo. Other multiplayer achievements such as Megalomania for example still require a full team so keep that in mind. Either way, a huge improvement for many out there achievement grinding which I'm sure will be appreciated. The remaining changes are the usual bug fixes and optimizations you'd normally expect. So that does it for the bulk of the update content. Personally, I think this is a very suitable 7 year anniversary update. I know some people were hoping for something huge, and now after seeing this, update 
I'm now a firm believer that Big Update 200 is coming and is going to be released around the old Crime Fest period, so keep your eyes peeled during October if you're excited about the update that's been receiving such a lot of attention recently. In terms of this update though, we got some brilliant cosmetics, more incentives to replay holdouts or go further in your crime sprees, and great quality of life overhauls to co-op achievements and mass designing. Overall, a brilliant update which serves to keep the excitement at boiling point for update 200. I can't wait and I'm sure many of you can't either. In the meantime though, more videos coming your way next week, so I'll see you all very soon.